Well, this is going to be interesting. The results tonight could shift the balance of power in the U.S. Senate. Democrats need to win five seats. It makes the race in New Hampshire between Kelly Ayotte and Governor Maggie Hassan a pivotal one. Each cast their votes this morning. Tonight, WBZ's Ken McLeod is at Hassan headquarters in Manchester. We begin, though, with Beth Germano live in Concord with Kelly Ayotte's camp. Beth? Well, this has certainly been one of the most closely watched and most expensive Senate races in the country. As you say, Democrats are looking at four or five seats in the Senate in order to regain control of the chamber. Republican Senator Kelly Ayotte has been very popular here in New Hampshire, but she's also facing a popular governor in Maggie Hassan, which has made this race so tight. And Ayotte has been struggling with how to handle Donald Trump in her campaign. After a 24-hour political marathon, Senator Kelly Ayotte cast her vote at her Nashua polling place. I think I've said I'm going to be writing in Mike Pence. That's what I did. Ayotte, fighting for a second term, wouldn't even name Donald Trump today, a candidate who's been problematic for her re-election campaign. This Senate race, though, is about who's going to be the independent voice for New Hampshire, and uh, this race is one where I've been going out earning the support of the people of New Hampshire. How Trump will affect this down-ballot race race against Governor Maggie Hassan is the question. Ayotte has tried to distance herself from the Republican nominee and his controversial remarks about women, but some of her supporters worry it won't be enough. I don't think she shares any of his ideals in, um, in politics, but I felt like she kind of was backed into a corner um, supporting him initially and then had to kind of backstep a little bit. She'll need voters like Tom Snow voting a straight Republican ticket with or without her support for Trump. I own a small business and uh, it's very important to me. Now, Kelly Ayotte made 30 stops in the last 24 hours as this campaign winds down, trying to push her independent voice. Donald Trump may be pushing a message of change, but Kelly Ayotte hopes New Hampshire voters send her back for another term. Reporting live from Concord, New Hampshire, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News.